Here's our little folder all about spring. Now, during our spring season, we did a few of these activities and afterwards I put it all together in a file folder. I punch holes and I'm not sure what these are called, but you can find these at any stationery store. And it keeps our papers very nicely together. That way we can review all the work that we've done. Here's all about spring. We color it in, we write a little fact, our little facts, and we include a little picture. Now they've got to glue some color flowers in place, as well as the numbers one, two, three, four. They could see how many um, flowers needed in each, so therefore which one went with what. There. Oh, actually, this is not about spring, sorry. This is about seasons. We went through our summer, little facts, and you can add little pictures. They made a little sun collage and dried flowers. That was another project. They glued a little bit of sand here from our sandbox. Autumn. Talk about what happens in autumn. You can Google some um, extra little pictures about each one. You can also find some YouTube video clips about the seasons and watch those together. You can read your books together and include your little arts and crafts at the end. So that's what we do. Our winter, here is animal. He sleeps, they hibernate in winter. You can talk about the animals and include that little study too if your children are into animals. Here's an extra little book about seasons, which we've also added to our folder here. That way we have it all together and we can regularly review it. And there's extra little projects and cutouts. You can also Google different things about seasons. And you'll find amazing results. And then we include here our little seasons crafts. So they made little snowmen, and I have some other ones that were a little bit too large to fit into here. And that way you keep it all, it's like your little child's portfolio all about seasons. We have a little puzzle, you can include any little other games and lessons, the four seasons anyways. I hope you enjoy this little idea, ways that you can keep your your work and regularly review it with your child.